Hello dear ones, it's Alice. Um, the question has come up, what happens when uh, souls uh, make a decision to turn towards darkness rather than towards the light? And they do that incarnation after incarnation. What, what happens to those souls? And so, so I have an answer for you according to what limited knowledge I have. And that is like this. Uh, the universe is, is fractally um, organized, all right? So souls that are a certain darkness and a certain, a certain range of, of, of lightness, they, uh, they sort themselves between incarnations uh, into particular realities, into certain timelines and dimensions. And so a soul that, that, conti that continuously chooses darkness, cool side effect, huh? <laughs> Beautiful morning sunlight. A soul that continually chooses chooses the experience of darkness and dense duality will sort into into realities that allow the soul to express itself in that way. Um, and so there will come a point eventually if the soul continues to decide to explore deeper and deeper darkness, deeper and deeper density, there will come a point where that soul um, ceases to have uh, the free will to choose um, to choose uh, between darkness and light. And at that point, the existence of that soul will be more like an animal existence. It, it will return to an animal state, and and eventually it will reach the point where it loses its light, and and it goes back to source. Now. I have a thing or two to say about that because sometimes people look at it from their own perspective, from the perspective of their of their own hearts, and they think, oh, this is a terrible thing and what can be done and like that, from the point of view of empathy and compassion. So just I'd like to make the point that that the important thing here is free will. This is the aspect of, of humanity, of human like line of souls is free will. And so if the soul chooses of its own free will, this or that, then that is this own soul's prerogative to do that. All right. So so the rejoicing that I feel has to do with free will and, and choice. Okay free will of the soul and and this is a rejoicing that I can feel no matter what choice is made even if it's the diametrical opposite of what I would choose all right um, and in the long run the point I would I would make is that all souls all creation all awareness of all sorts goes back to source eventually whether or not in the aware state okay so we all return to a happy joyful, blissful unity with all that is, <laughs> no matter what our path and no matter what our choices. So. <laughs>